Paul, in this episode, we are featuring one of the most popular Malaysian laksas, which is Laksa Sarawak. Laksa Sarawak, full of mystery, and everyone wants to know how to make the paste, and we're going to show you courtesy of Datin Suraya. We've used this ingredient a lot in our videos. This is called Asam Keping. Asam Keping or Asam Gelugor. Okay, it's a type of sour fruit. In Australia, if you're looking for it, you might find it labeled as dried tamarind slices, which is why I call it dried tamarind slices. Tamarind is actually a different, like also sour, but slightly different. Okay. Which is called Asam Jawa. <laughs> yeah, Asam Jawa. So in this episode, we're also looking at laksa goreng. So if you like fried stuff and you like laksas, Chef Bob's laksa goreng is right up your alley. We're also looking at laksa kadar, which was made for us by Shia, who's from Kadar, but lives in Penang now. And then finally, Jackie will be making an easy laksa nyonya. So you saw the awesome laksa nyonya from last week, how you can make it in your own kitchen in 15 minutes. <laughs> Saraya. Hi, hi Jackie. Hi. Are you from Sarawak originally? Yes, yes, I oh, am. Okay, great, yeah, great. Actually. You know, every time I see Laksa Sarawak, everyone asks questions about what exactly goes into the paste, mm -hmm. right? But you're going to show us today from an insider perspective. And uh, I think Masna would like to know as well, right? Yes, I love Laksa Sarawak and I was curious how they make the paste. Because everywhere I go, they always use Paste. Yeah. And I'm so curious how to make the paste. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm so happy to Suraya love to show it to us, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, what what do you use in it? Uh, as uh, Anthony Bodin says, it's the breakfast of the gods. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the ingredient that goes in. Okay. Yeah. Galangal. Um, shallots. Sure. More shallots than garlic. Yeah, okay. We have some garlic here and uh, blachan, uh, which is shrimp paste, and buah keras, which is uh, candle nut, and uh, pelaga is uh, cardamom, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And bunga lawang, star anise, mm -hmm. uh, cloves, uh, coriander, coriander uh, sesame, sesame seed, seed, and peanuts, mm. sugar, dried chilies, chilies, and lemongrass. Oh great! And wow. this one as well. Or? Ah yeah, oh. and uh, the asam keping. asam keping. Yeah, the um, tamarind slices tamarind is slices, how they yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. We use shallot here. It's a lot of work to do this. You yeah, know, my <laughs> these are the Indonesian oh, shallots. Indonesian side shallots. They are very small, tiny. Oh, okay. Even the Thai use this size. The the normal shallots that we have are huge, which is about this size. Right? The bigger one. Yeah, the, the Indian ones. ones right? The Indian oh, ones. How do they taste different? Do you find uh, this is sweeter? Okay, uh, and this is very nice for bawang goreng as well. Oh, uh, yeah, Christmas yeah, yeah. Bawang goreng, and the slice is so, so small. Yes. Yeah, imagine <laughs> trying to cut it. Oh my god, right. must have full of patience to do this. Yeah, yeah. and this belacan, mm. it's from it's Bintulu. A local. Yeah, it's from Sarawak, Bintulu. It comes in this size. Sometimes they come in a square block. Okay, uh, but this is the one which is much preferred by my family, by my mom. Okay, this is her ultimate favorite. Okay. This is roasted. It's roasted. Oh, already. okay, right. Yeah. Great. This is not the prime ingredient inside the uh, the paste. Yeah, the prime ingredient would be shallots. Okay. And mm. the rempah here. Okay. You see, when you smell the paste, it would smell like a confinement. Uh, we call it um, majum, 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 majum is a kind of the confinement uh, uh, herbs. herbs. Okay. Yeah. Can I, this is yeah. the the paste that's been yeah. cooked up. It smells beautiful. Yeah. Very yeah. rich, very rich in flavor. Yeah, yeah. Do you oh put coriander God. roots in it as well? Yes. Mm. Okay. I do. Okay. So. Sure. Okay, so Dati, do you want to show us what you do with the paste? Okay. So I'm going to put the stock in. This is uh, from prawn shells and chicken carcass. Nice. Yeah. Mm. So we we'll just uh, pour in some of the soup. Let's say we're just making for one portion, yeah. 
So this is the stock that I've made. So we will put in some uh, some of the paste that we've done earlier. Sure. Yeah. And this is just maybe for one portion. Okay. Stir it in. See the color. Yeah. Immediately it changes. Yeah. <laughs> and then to that we add in some santan. Sure. Of course, a fresh like santan. A fresh santan mm. is much better because it's it's it has a natural sweetener to it, right? Sure. A fresh santan, so just a bit of santan. You must always stir this because you don't want it to curdle. Sure. You don't use that much santan in laksa Sarawak, do you? No, okay. not really. Some people will use evaporated milk. Oh wow! A mixture of santan and evaporated okay. milk, or just santan. Okay. So we'll just try this first. Sure. Then we season it with uh, salt. Okay. I was told salt that salt. when you're cooking this um, laksa Sarawak. You know, you should not let it boil, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it will turn the taste to become really? uh, bite, bitter. Yeah, yeah, bitter. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what makes it bitter? Why? Coriander. Oh, okay. Ah. Coriander, when you fry, you don't put it immediately. Usually, you put it in the last minute. Okay. Because coriander, when you over fry it, it becomes bitter. Ah. Just nice. So, add sugar to balance the taste. Because when I did the uh, the paste earlier on, I have done I have add, added in the asam keping, oh, okay. so the sourness is there already. Mm. Okay. You I have value. yeah for us afterwards. Great. So this is not gonna be enough. <laughs> so yeah. So I've done. Oh great. The gravy. So yeah. when you simmer it, or when you want to heat it up, never use a big fire on it. You have to simmer it over slow food. Okay. Yeah, otherwise it curdles. Once it curdles, it's just not nice. And the santan will separate from the gravy. Okay. And sure. you will, I don't know, the taste is funny when it's curdled. Yeah, this you know is what, what I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah, I heard about that. It yeah. becomes bitter. So, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay, so Datin, show yes. us how you serve this up. Okay. So our normally our condiments are, the side, side condiments are omelette. Okay which we fry and prepare earlier on. We've prepared already and um, the boiled uh, chicken breast, which I took it, I took the sauce as uh, the stock. Sure. And prawn, which I have uh, boiled as well. Sure. And uh, bean sprouts. Yeah. And coriander leaves. Okay. Sure. So that's it. And we serve this with sambal belacan later on. Okay, great. So, so we just our gravy we have, which uh, we have made earlier. Do you yes. have to blanch the the tauge, uh, yes. the, the bean sprout? Yes. Okay. Tiny bit. Okay. It's uh, a good tip. I've never yeah, done that. With omelet before. So once yeah. if you if you use chicken stock, you don't add in any more salt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. That that is usually how the Thai does it. Okay. Right. Never knew that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the tips. Eh? Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. And then. We put in some sambal belacan, right. our sambal. Oh yeah, that looks yeah. good already. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and a mass, a balance of sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. uh, the calamansi, calamansi. Right? So you just, because uh, I don't like the seeds. So, so well, anyway, you this how you serve it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that looks delicious. So that's done. Okay. Well, we're gonna try and eat this. Yeah. Yep. Later on? Yeah. Thank you yep. so much for this, Dati. We have travelled to Malaysia for four weeks now. Okay. We've seen all kinds of different types of laksa. Um, what laksa are you going to make for us today? Okay, this laksa actually, uh, I'm not sure where it's coming from, but mostly I created this uh, laksa, it's uh, my own recipe, uh, using laksa noodles, but I take influence a little bit from the north side, from the east coast side, from the south 
little bit and from the Selangor uh, in, in my area. So I combine together, I put it as a uh, laksa goreng. Laksa goreng? Yes. Fried laksa? Yeah, fried okay. laksa. Sure. So heat up the wok. Okay. Yeah. So this is not a soup, it's actually fried It's a fried, laksa. yes. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So you heat up the... Then, oil, cooking yeah. oil. Yeah. Are you putting yeah. coconut milk in it, no? No, coconut milk. Yeah, okay. some of the... My friend is always asking me, tell me, uh, Bob, why you don't put a little bit of coconut to uh, make it more... Uh, creamy, creamy, yeah. Lemak, so, creamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just don't like. Once you have goreng, you should be have... Uh, okay. In Chinese, it's said wok hay, right? Yeah, it's a okay, flavor okay. of wok hay. Sure, sure. So, this looks more uh, nice and polished. Okay. So, first of all, what we need is... We put it this uh, the chili, the blend, chili paste, yeah. the chili sure. paste, the, and uh, the spice paste, yeah. dry shrimp, garlic, and uh, bawang. Bawang, uh, bawang okay. merah, this sure. onion. Sure. All right, it's up to you if you want add chili, more chili, or whatever. Okay. So, next, prawns. Yeah. Let's add the prawns. So let it uh, chili and prawns uh, cook together a little bit. Sure. Yeah, in the uh, very uh, really hot, and then you need to have. Uh, if you have a stove, you need to have a very big fire. If you have any in kitchen, big kitchen, if you have using this uh, wok, it's more nice. Sure, sure. Yeah. So next, oyster sauce. Right. Right. Maybe about two spoon enough. Sure. So interesting. I've never seen oyster sauce. Yep. Yes, that's right. Uh, and some people, also sometimes I really like to add, uh, it should be like a uh, Pad Thai style. Uh, uh, some of them they're using uh, Asam Jawa also a little bit. Uh, okay. uh, it sure. also can. That's sure. why I changed a bit with this, uh, using a lime juice. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Uh, so, fish ball in. Right. Nice. Then, we need to add uh, this one. Uh, I need uh, eggs. Sure. Yeah. Eight. One. Two. Three. Right. Okay. You can add a little bit more oil because you already add this uh, eggs. Sure. Just yeah. eggs soak up a lot yes. of oil. Yeah. All right. So, then you can add your noodles now. Sure. Okay. See? This is using a laksa noodles. Yeah. Huh? Sure. If uh, sometimes people want to use a vermicelli, vermicelli also can. Yeah. Uh, but if you're using vermicelli bihun, it's not no more laksa. It's not misiam. Should be really misiam. <laughs> yes, exactly. 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 Then, straight you add this uh, fish Thai sauce, sauce add yeah. this th uh, Thai fish sauce, right? Sure. Together with this uh, lime uh, juice, yeah? Sure. About two spoon. Yeah, chicken powder. Okay. I'm not going to use any uh, call this, uh, salt sure. because I believe it's already have a flavor inside there. Yeah. And then and we have already put this uh, chicken yeah. powder inside there, right? Sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. That's what I usually do. Yes. Yeah. So, lastly, before that, I can add the yeah. chive. I love to put all uh, lots yeah. of greens. Sure. Yeah. And the uh, bean sprout. Bean sprout in. Just all of it? Yes, all of it. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, now time to taste it. One okay. for you. Thank you. And one for me to try. And you, Paul, <laughs> after this, I give it to you. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. Very firm flavor, right? Mm. I told you we don't need to have uh, any salt no. because this uh, flavor is already there. Yeah. So that's it. Now, time to serve. It's amazing. Very easy. Yeah. I believe uh, for the kids also they love it. It's not so spicy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I cook this one mostly uh, at home. I teach my wife to cook. So every <laughs> one month, one time at least for breakfast, got this. That works. Yes. Great. Right. So, a little bit more. Just want to add, touch up a little bit. So, sure. put some chili. From far away, you think it was chakwe or, yeah. or, or, or pad thai? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And just a bit of uh, spring anish, garnish. Half. And some. Kalamansi on oh, top. Nice, nice. Yeah, to squeeze it. If you have, don't have kalamansi, you can use a uh, lime. Sure. Here you go. Done it. Beautiful. Thank you. Laksa well. goreng. All right. Thank you, Jackie. I'll see you next nice. time. All right. Ciao. Okay, so we've seen how involved it is to make laksa nyonya malaka. But I've got a shortcut version here if you want to save a bit of time. Obviously, fresh is always best. And the best laksa nyonya malaka I've ever tasted is at Donald and Lily's. But like I said, if you're stuck here in Sydney, you don't have time and you don't have access to a lot of fresh ingredients, this is what I would do, okay? Okay, so um, we are, we're going to use, in lieu of fresh shallots, fresh onions, we're going to use a dry onion here, okay? No, you know what, before I do that, I'm going to actually mince this. So I'm going to throw this food processor along with some lemongrass and some dried shrimp as well, okay? Now, typically you would want to soak the dried shrimp. This, this is not the typical dried shrimp that we usually use, okay? This is just what I happen to have on hand but the flavor is very similar in profile, okay? Typically, you want to soak this in some warm water, strain it out, and then use it, but I'm short cutting it all the way. So I'm gonna throw some in. Okay, so this is going in. Usually, you would use a fresh galangal and fresh turmeric. We're using the powdered version of both here. Now, usually you would use a dried chilli that have been soaked and blended into a paste. We're using chilli powder. This is a mild Malaysian chilli powder. Because it's mild, it means you can use more. Uh, this is garlic, minced garlic. I'm going to use some in here. This comes in powder form, Malaysian balachan. Okay, again, a time saver. But obviously, you can get them in blocks as well. I'm going to... Mix this into a paste with a bit of water. By the way, this is the laksa that we're making. Okay. Here you go. Okay, so you can see this is like a wet paste now. I'm going to start adding oil to this. You want a fair bit of oil. Add it in stages. The difference between laksa nyonya malaka and laksa curry laksa is that laksa nyonya malaka does not use curry powder. Okay, so you want to have shredded cucumber to go into this, and a lot of the time the noodles they use are a little bit different as well. This is not quite the noodles, but this will do. Okay, laksa leaves which doesn't usually make an appearance in curry laksa, okay? Sometimes they actually mince this up, but I prefer to have it like whole. The seasoning, so a bit of sugar goes into this. And some chicken powder. It 
it looks like a lot, but this serves quite a few serves of laksa, okay? Good. That's your laksa paste, your laksa nyonya paste. And you want to separately blend some noodles, uh, boil an egg if you like egg, and have some protein on hand. And we're going to turn this into a laksa soup next. So you got a pot, turn it on. Add a bit of water or plain unseasoned stock. Bit of your laksa paste. I'm being a bit greedy here. A couple of tofu puffs to help soak up the flavors. Obviously, if you've got like your favorite type of protein, you know, maybe even fish balls or something like that, you can add that in. And some coconut cream or coconut milk, depending on how rich you like your laksa. And then in the meantime, separately cook up your noodles according to packet instructions, depending on what type of noodles you're using. You can blanch the bean sprouts too, if you like. Pour it in. This is quite a thick soup, okay? Because I got a bit greedy with the laksa paste. Put it in, garnish it with the shredded cucumber, you got the boiled egg, you want it to look pretty, and come up a bit. Shredded cucumber, the laksa leaves, and whatever else you decide to serve it with. You can also have some sambal on top here, if you've got some sambal on hand. Can you taste the difference between this and curry laksa? Mm -hmm. This has got a more subtle taste, obviously a little bit fishier because of the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And I like the cucumber, it adds a freshness to it. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, yeah. So you put everything in the blender. Yeah. Put in the blender, right? You, you, uh, I didn't add together with the onion. Is separately. <laughs> so do you want no. to no. blend also the onions? I can. Ah yes. Chop it okay. How many? How many? Uh, two, five. Okay, five. Five. Oh, five. Yeah. five yeah. This is for and then and three, yeah. three, ah. three cloves yeah. of garlic. Okay. Quality control. Quality control. Quality control. It's not laksa, everyone has laksa, but to make it, nobody wants to make it, they go to the shop, they go to the restaurant. For blending, so you have onion, you have garlic, yep. and then you have what? Here, uh, chili paste. Chili paste, maso. Okay, for... Tapi we blend this first, okay. together with the blachan. How much blachan do you want to put uh, in? I think we just... Water? Water. 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 Okay. And the blachan is already roasted, yeah? Yeah, the blachan okay. is already roasted, no worries. All right. Oh, really fine. Wow. Really okay. fine, yeah. The, the water there. Yeah, water have to, yeah. Okay, this is what is going to be mixed in the broth. Okay. The fish broth. To be blended, yeah. To be blended. And then chili paste. Mm -hmm. Chili paste curry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, jump. 